Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Uh, today I'm going to talk about an overflowing freshwater fill. Uh, last week we were at Cleburne State Park, and we got to the park, we connected to services, and took off and went swimming. Came back in about an hour and a half, and our fresh water fill, which is here, was completely overflowing, and the ground, this, I just filled it so it's a little bit wet, but last week it was just all under the RV, everything was soaking wet, and as a matter of fact, we, um, we had a rug in the entrance hall there, and it was wet, and so I thought, wow, something, something's happened, we got a problem with the water pump, because our water pump was right under there. So I took the thing off, looked at, felt of the water pump completely dry. All of the hoses around the water pump completely dry. So I thought something is not right here. This had happened to us once before, once or twice before, but we somehow gotten it to stop. It's one of those things where you do something and it stops and you don't really know what you did. So because we'd had this problem more than once, I called Winnebago. And I just want to say a huge thumbs up to Winnebago. Um, in less than five minutes, I had talked to a real life person. She had talked to two techs. I had a solution and hung up the phone. So I knew that the problem was with the water pump. And so I thought, well, you know what? A water pump is less than a hundred bucks. I can go on and just replace that. And that way we know it's good. We're going to be doing some dry camping. And, um, which is another thing since I knew I was going to be doing dry camping I knew that our fresh water tank was extremely full I decided that was a perfect opportunity to sanitize because we had this trip planned and so that would give us time to to get that done and one side note is if you've watched my video on sanitizing the fresh water tanks you're using highly diluted bleach water or I am and I use that to once I get I got home from that trip I let it sit, sit in the tanks for a minute I went on and divided it between my black and gray tank. I'd done that the first time I sanitized. I don't think it hurts the sensors, and I do think it rinses those tanks out so that it will help cut down on odors. So, not that we've had odors, but it just rinses those tanks and there's no need just to waste that water. So we got in here, we emptied out all of that bleach water. Uh, our fresh water tank was empty. I've just filled it. Now, what we're gonna do to try to troubleshoot. I watched another video when I was watching, uh, trying to, to, to make sure I knew what I was doing whenever I ordered a water pump and replaced it. Came across a video that, and uh, I think Sunset Seekers may be the, the channel, uh, but a huge thumbs up. I'm gonna try this, see if it works for us. So we've gotten here. I have not turned on the city water because the solution is there's a valve inside of that water pumper connected to the water pump that sometimes gets stuck open and what that allows is your city water to backflow through the water pump and down into your fresh water tank and so I'm assuming this can happen anytime there's a chance of water in the lines if you've turned on a, if you're not connected to any water you don't have the water pump on and you've turned on a faucet which we do sometimes if we stop for a picnic we don't always stop and think about turning the water pump on before we rinse our hands. So that can let air in the lines. Uh, like we just emptied our fresh water tank, uh, we, we can have air in the lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I have turned off city water, don't have any city water. Now I'm going to turn on my water pump. Okay, we're going to let that pressurize. Make sure that we've left it on for 10 minutes or so. It won't hurt. And I am going to start with the faucet that is the furthest from my water pump. And my faucet that is the furthest is my outside shower. The water pump is right over there at the fresh water fill. And so this outside shower is the furthest one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this water on and wait until there is a full stream of water that there is no air coming out with the water. Uh, and hopefully that will have gotten all the air out of all the lines. But just for safety measures, I'm going to go to every faucet, turn on hot, turn on cold, make sure that I have a good stream of water, no air coming out, and hopefully that will have closed that valve. So far, so good. It's been over an hour, 
and that's plenty of time if that valve was still open for this to be spewing out water so I think this fixed it and it was super simple it was free and we got our fresh tank sanitized so we're ready for some dry camping this fall thanks for watching two tired teachers